London in the city. And we went for a holiday, I think it was one or two weeks, onto a farm in the country. And I still remember it because for an animal loving little girl from the city to meet cows and pigs and horses close up, face to face, it was so exciting. And there were no cruel factory farms in those days. I was given a job to help collect the hen's eggs and the hens pecked around in the farmyard and they were supposed to lay their eggs in little hen houses about this big, I suppose. It's hard to remember how big things were when you were a child. And so I was collecting the eggs and, you know, here's the size of an egg, roughly, sort of like that. And apparently I began asking everybody, but where does the egg come out of the hen? Because I couldn't see a hole that size. <laughs> and nobody answered me to my satisfaction. And so I obviously decided I would have to find out for myself. And I distinctly remember seeing this hen going into her little hen house where they also spent the night and thinking, ah, she's going to lay an egg, crawling after her. Big mistake, squawks of fear, flew out. And again, I'm four and a half, remember, but uh, no hen will lay an egg here now. This is a frightening place. And going into an empty hen house and waiting, and waiting, and waiting, which was fine for me, but my poor family didn't know where I was. <laughs> and so it was apparently getting towards evening, and my mother, you can imagine how frantic she was, little Jane is lost, and she sees this excited child rushing towards the house, and instead of getting mad at me, how dare you go off without telling us, don't you dare do it again, which would have killed all the excitement, she saw my shining eyes and sat down to hear the wonderful story of how a hen lays an egg. So, if you look at that story with hindsight, isn't that the making of a little scientist? The curiosity, asking questions, not getting the right answer, deciding to find out for yourself, making a mistake, not giving up, and learning patience. It was all there. And if I had a different kind of mother, that little scientist in the making might have been crushed and I might, might not be standing here. And it was she, during my childhood, who helped me find books about animals, reckoning I would learn to read more quickly, which of course was true.